we've got our first ever cohort of Master of Public Policy students coming to the university. The, the new School of Government, which I was so happy to endow, is a new chapter in my life and I hope a new chapter in the university life. Thank you very much. We had hundreds of applications from 84 different countries and frankly we would have liked to have taken more of them. Before I assume higher responsibilities, and in my case that would be the rank of an ambassador, I thought that I need some refresher. I don't want to lead uh, with stale perspectives. I want to, if you want to energize an institution and uh, change it, I think you have to see what's happening outside. So we set out to build this degree asking, what does the world need Oxford to step up to in the 21st century? Oxford's educated so many people who have gone on to lead in countries right across the world and that for us was a huge advantage because we went straight out to those alumni and said what do you wish you had learnt at Oxford and the answer to that lies beyond the usual sort of public affairs course. You know we've developed a course with for example a strong component on how to use critically medical and scientific advice and the kinds of skills that students have previously gone to business schools to learn. So really practical skills on negotiation, finance, you know, project management and delivery. I come from a medical background. I'm currently in my third year of medical school. When we had our strategy and communication course taught by McKinsey recently, um, the same sort of approach to diagnosing a problem, coming up with a treatment plan for the problem, et cetera, et cetera, mirrored some of the same uh, sort of thought processes that you'd find in medicine. The, the, the best they can do is actually teach us how to get stuff done. Because I feel there's such a big disconnect between um, what you learn in class and what you go and do in the world. And most of these universities, most good universities, in fact, don't teach enough practical skills classes. We also listen to people who actually dealt with those issues in their professional lives. Um, another component of the course, it uses Oxford's top philosophers to teach students how to reason through the ethical dilemmas that they will face in political leadership. Because the higher you go, the more everybody around you simply says yes, because they're hoping you'll promote them and that there are very few people holding leaders to account. And a global peer group is something that could really work to do that. I'm looking forward to see what I'm going to end up being by the end of the year. We've obviously discussed this in between us, like what, what are the plans for future? I want to work on development policy. Sort of bridging a career between both public policy and clinical medicine. To bring value gained here. Uh, back to my country. Uh, I'm coming from Russia. Uh, make a positive change and real change in, in Mexico and if I can in the world, why not?